What's going on, guys? Probably about three or four weeks ago at this point, I painted the whole front yard with the uh, Guru Turf Turf Paint. Forest Green, I think that's what it's called. I have to look at the bottle again. But uh, it's hanging in there pretty nifty. I'll give you a better shot without my mug in it. Storm at Bermuda. Sprayed it with the Guru Turf. Pretty slick. There's a poa showing up. But anyway, it's been snowed on and rained on pretty hard and it's uh it's hanging in there. I think it'll I don't think I'll have to make but one application of it. It's called timber green was the color. So guru turf timber green. And it, it's done pretty good. All right, well we're gonna this is the first decent temperature day we've had in a while. We're headed to the shop get the turf mobile and get out on some fescue today. So stay tuned. Okay, at the shop, loading up a little VX8, which is my 1808 with uh, uh, XCU ammonium sulfate biosolids sulfate of potash 5% iron we're going to go out and get the first look at some of these fescue yards this year um, got a little window of weather here uh, it's what is today it's Thursday um, but anyway it's Thursday it's pretty mild today I think it's going to rain tomorrow uh, snow maybe this weekend but uh the pre-emergence and fertilizer, I'm not worried about the rain and muck and whatever, if that follows up, but I really would like to get a post-emergent in right now too. And I don't know if uh, the weather is gonna be too great for that. The turf mobile has had a mishap here at the shop. One of the fellows backed the enclosed trailer into it. How I do not know, but it was the corner of it. Anyway, parts are ordered. Body shop told me they'd get with me next year when they get here. Where was I at? Loading up, go look at the fescue. Let's go. I'll start off here. Uh, he's mowing it way too low, and it's the cold weather has beat these things up something fierce, and I haven't gotten as much fertilizer on them as I generally do. Uh, but we're gonna get some on it today and a pre-emergent. And I'm gonna look around at the weed situation. I'm gonna do this one over here too. That one's mowed a little better. Uh, I, the, he's got somebody that mows that one across that one. This one he mows himself with a riding mower and it, it just didn't get high enough. All right, let me get unloaded here and load the permagreen up and I'll get right back with you. What we're gonna run is I'm gonna run 16 ounces, one pound per acre per permagreen load of uh, just a WDG uh, 65 uh, per diamine. And this one is cavalcade, but you can get barricade or uh, <coughs> Qualipro or whatever suits you. And this is just what I was able to come up with in mass quantities but speaking of koala pro i keep some of the old jugs to mix my water dispersible granules and so i'm going to put uh this into here with some water shake it up and let it dissolve some before i put it in the permagreen uh, make that happen real quick not too quick because you'll dump some out like i just did What I'm probably gonna do is get this one pound of actual prodiamine product, not AI, on this at first. And then maybe one of my later applications, early summer, late spring, will be another six, eight ounces or so. I would not, in a split app situation, really want to exceed 
much more than a pound of AI per acre, by the way. So let's shut up and let it dissolve. And we'll talk about what's, what's the uh, post I'm gonna run on this. <coughs> Although it's not all that cold today, we are in cold weather situation. So this is from New Farm, this is Cool Power. I don't know if that means that, hey, that's a cool power that's got, that it can kill weeds, or that it works good in cool weather. We're gonna assume that it means it works good in cool weather. Ester formulations in here. This is a, a MCPA, uh, triclopyr ester, and a Camba. Um, on some of the yards, I, I go ahead and I mix, uh, instead of running this, I've been running a little, little 2,4-D ester at uh, a couple pints per acre and a uh, self-interest on Dismiss at six ounces. I'm gonna get this mixed up, throw it in the tank, and I'm gonna run uh, the DX8 fertilizer. DX8. Right. Throw this in the tank. All of you hear me, so I just put some water in here get started uh, but I'll uh, show you the agitation uh, attachments in the front of the green in action that's pretty crucial for when you're spraying these WDGs to have those in there in my opinion Okay, in addition to the uh, three pints of cool power, pounder per diamine, I'm gonna also add about a gallon of uh, Subvert CNOS. Subvert CNOS. Uh, the uh, calcium nitrate, good stuff, plant available, nitrogen, kind of boosts this stuff on up right off the bat. It's also going to help get this herbicide into the plant because it's really going to want to take this uh, CNOS up and it can bit at these rates. I don't count on it, but it will, could possibly in some countries and situations barely increase your pH. We're not doing it for that. Day. We'll put about a gallon of that in there. Again, some quick cool weather guidelines. Um, your herbicides, use these ester formulations. Uh, they're more efficient in cooler weather. Uh, fertilizer wise, your nitrogen. Look for something with more of ammonium sulfate in it. This is the DX8 is uh, half the nitrogen comes from ammonium sulfate, half comes from an XCU, which is a slow release urea. And so my thoughts on this are the, uh, the XCU will hang around and still be feeding me a little bit going into spring and warmer weather. And uh, the uh, ammonium sulfate is immediately plant available in cooler weather. The uh, urea has to, uh, go into soil and react with urease and turn into a gas to be plant available. And in cooler weather, that process is slowed significantly. So the urea is not very efficient in uh, cold and cooler weather. So ester-based herbicides and uh, ammonium sulfate fertilizers. All right, I'm gonna get to work here. Some quick permagreen tips for spraying uh, WDG pre-emergence. Take your screens out of the machine, the ones in the tank, the ones uh, in the spray tips, even the uh, big cartridge in the back is what I generally do. And uh, put your power agitators in the tank. This one looks a little better than the one across the street, but it's still not interstellar. It's, this cold weather has really done a number on these things, but uh, hopefully this will perk them up. Wow, this one is just blanked on color, man. It stinks. Got some chickweed in it too. Look at all that taken care of, hopefully. 
All right, here's the fourth one in a row. The color is absolute zero on. Gonna get to bombing it. Okay, this one looks freaking terrible. He didn't get his uh, mid-winter, early winter fertilizer. He's trying to save a couple bucks, but I, I didn't think it would impact it that bad. But I just got it sprayed today and fertilized, put down some granular, put down the, uh, oh hell, what I call that, DX8. And some uh, calcium nitrate and pre-emergent, some post-emergent in the spray tank. Looks like this does better. Yikes. I really don't understand what's going on here. This one was a bare dirt renovation. I think I got a picture of it when I renovated it, but we're going to do the same here. Get a pre-emergent, some fertilizer on it, a little cool power. It's got some stuff under the canopy there. I'm good at it. Here's one more that's not necessarily setting the world on fire. But, uh, We'll get this uh, application on it with the pre-emergent and fertilizer and the uh, subvert CNOS and a uh, cool power. And hopefully it'll bump it on up and help us control some weeds. I don't see a lot of weeds in this. I had a lot of, pro I took this over the summer. I had a lot of weeds in it this summer, but it looks a lot cleaner now, but it's the grass just ain't doing great. But we just need some good weather after this application and we'll be on the right track, hopefully. We're doing yard mullet here. This is uh, Bermuda in the front. I could go ahead and spray this cool power on it. Uh, mainly, uh, there's not any weeds in it, but I mainly want to get my pre-emergent on it. And the back is fescue, so we'll go ahead and knock both of them out at one time. Fertilizer on the back and the pre-emergent. And here's the back. I mean, not exactly setting the world on fire either, but it's better than some of them we've seen today. Some dog poo in it. Pretty nice. All right, got that dog poo washed off the permagreen tires. They're good to go now. Showed y'all some rough looking yards today. Y'all are usually used to me showing the uh, award winning super yards and I've, you know, most of them are okay right now. They don't look like the ones we looked at today, but uh, the idea is to get them all looking like award winning super yards. And after these applications and some better weather, hopefully we'll see a drastic turnaround on those. So just remember in cooler weather, Use your ester-based uh, herbicides. Uh, we're running combinations like 2,4-D ester and dismiss right now, uh, and the cool power that you saw, and doing things like running a little bit of that uh, uh, CNOS in with them from Subvert. That also will help that herbicide get into the plants, and the CNOS should help boost those those rough-looking yards up some too, along with a good heavy dose about a pound of nitrogen from the uh, DX8, the 1808. So hopefully better weather, warmer weather, better conditions will we'll bring these yards around and they won't be looking so trashy, but there were some bad ones today. But I appreciate you guys watching and we'll maybe we'll get an opportunity to go show a video of a nice turnaround on them. Thanks.